Want to know how to make a legal wall hack by using a secret keybind that will remove textures on the cargo ship? Or how to see at night by changing one setting in the NVIDIA panel? Or maybe how to make stairs with wooden signs and use it to make your own entrance to the oil rig? Here are 10 exploits, glitches, bugs and tips that can destroy Rust forever. But if you use them wisely, they can give you a huge advantage over other players. I'll start with simple tricks that can make your game easier, move on to serious exploits that shouldn't be in the game, and finish with critical bugs that can even get you banned. Make sure to hit that like button below and subscribe to the channel, it's completely free. With that said, let's start with the backpack. This item was recently added to the game, but the community has already found a cool bug. As you can see, I have moved the resources to the backpack, and to move them back to the inventory, I have to click on the backpack again, which takes a while. But actually, you don't have to do that. Just click on the place where your backpack inventory was, and the resources will move to your main inventory. This little display bug will help you save some time, so you don't have to open your backpack every time you want to use it. Now let's talk in more detail about this item. An empty small backpack will despawn in 20 minutes and a large one in 40. Loot inside the backpack increases the despawn time to 2 hours, regardless of whether the backpack is small or large. Therefore, you need to put one high quality metal to keep it from despawning for the next 2 hours. With this information, you can increase the number of slots in your boat or car. And here's an example. You can put one high quality metal in your backpack, put the rest of your loot in it and then drop it in the boat. You can do the same with the second and third backpacks, the amount is up to you. Now in addition to the small stash in the boat itself, you have 3 times more slots thanks to backpacks. Most importantly, thanks to the game's new physics, these backpacks will never fall off the vehicle. And as I said before, this doesn't just apply to a boat, the same thing can be applied to a car as well. And no matter how hard you try to make those backpacks fall off, you won't be able to do it. The next bug is legal wall hug on cargo ship, and I'm sure it's like nothing you've ever seen before. To do this, you need to open the console by pressing F1 and type in this keybind. I'll leave it in the description below, so you can use it. You can replace this button with another one, as you prefer. Now watch the magic. Pressing this button will make the textures below disappear for a second, allowing you to see bots and other players on the lower floors. To help you understand what's going on, I'll be stopping the video at the right moments, so pay attention. When it happens in real time, that second is more than enough time to see the player from below and gain a huge advantage by knowing his exact position. Honestly, I don't know for sure if you can get banned for this, because I've tried this bug several times on the official servers and haven't been banned, but if an admin is watching you, it will definitely be suspicious. The next bug is a bit unusual and allows you to fix broken items. As you know, you cannot craft a stone spear from a broken wooden spear, although it was possible before. However, if you have a spear that is not broken, you can craft two stone spears, but if you try to do it from the crafting menu, you won't be able to do it. You also won't be able to do it from the quick craft menu, but if you drag both spears to the quick slots and go to the crafting menu, you can now make two stone spears. To be honest, I don't understand why it works like that. Because if you move two spears to the quick slots and use the quick crafting menu, you will only be able to make one stone spear. In any case, it's such a useful bug that I've been using a lot lately. And this bug is related to pay to win item. It costs 100 wood and 50 metal and doesn't require a workbench to craft. And you can easily break the turret with this item, because the turret won't shoot at you if you hide behind the gong. But even if it shoots at you, you won't take any damage. And you'll be able to shoot at the turret through the gaps on the sides. So for only one dollar you get an OP item. Here's one of my favorite bugs or exploits. You may know that you can put wooden sign on the railing of a tugboat, and you can do it from both above and below while creating a ladder of signs. But you can do it as long as you can jump to the top sign. 
Once you've reached this stage, you need to build a ladder in the water and continue placing signs. It took me about 15,000 of wood, including building a ladder in the water, but it's totally worth it. You can finish when you have stairs about this high. And now for the best part. Go to the oil rig and park on the side near the main staircase. Now you can use your own ladder to get to the oil rig and do it from the most unexpected place. In addition to this, you will be able to immediately save your loot in the tugboat. However, if you get killed, you won't be able to respawn in the tugboat. So keep that in mind. And this isn't even a bug, it's a trick that will make it easier for you to raid these large bases. As you can see, there are a lot of turrets down here and even more turrets on the roof. That means we can easily disable those turrets by interrupting them with our own. Just build a few foundations as close as possible to this base. Place a TC, a battery and a few turrets. Next, connect them all together. By the way, you can use a generator instead of a large battery. And that's it. Once you have turned on your three turrets, at least three turrets in the base area will have to turn off. To show the next exploit, I had to record a video on my phone, because Shadowplay can show it. As you can see, it's daytime on the server and everything is perfectly visible, but now I'm going to turn on the night. Now the image has changed and it's hard to see anything in the dark with the default settings. But if you have an Nvidia graphics card, you can do night vision with a single setting. Open the Nvidia control panel and go to the adjust desktop color settings tab. Here you need to change the gamma to max value and click apply. Now you have night vision that's as good as night vision goggles, so use this before it's fixed. But there's another interesting way you can improve the night vision goggles. Open settings, go to the image effects and enable depth of field. Next put on your night vision goggles and turn them on. Then take the homing missile launcher and click the right mouse button. Now you can see everything almost like daylight. It looks crazy, but it's also a very expensive and inconvenient method. This is a camera, and I'll show you how to use it through the textures. First, you need to upgrade the doorway into metal. Next, place a camera as close as possible to the left side of the doorway. Power it up. And place a double door. This camera is practically invisible from the outside, and it's also impossible to break. Now just set an ID for it and use the computer station to connect to this camera. That's it. Now you can see everything that is going on outside of your base while being completely safe. And finally, the good old teleportation bug, which for some reason has not been fixed yet. All you need is a car with a flatbed module and a small base that should have a half floor. Drive the car in so that the flatbed module is under the half floor. Next, place a double door on the side and open it. This room could be walled off and you can add some gun traps inside. Now, if you try to get inside the base, you will be teleported into a room with gun traps. If you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button below. And in this video, I'll show you the best settings in Rust for PvP and high FPS.